Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to uh, demonstrate um, or experiment with uh, dependency injection in um, ASP.NET Core or 5 because we're now using 5 here. Here we are now using 5. Okay, so. <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to create a service. So here in the services, we're going to create a service here. Uh, I think we have to put it on in core. Do we have to put it in core? Yep. <clears throat> so we need to create a service. So data interface I X um, I D I service okay so we call this I D I service first here and then we're going to have one um, get um, get something get something here get something <clears throat> and this should return a string here like that uh, we need to use the interface <clears throat> oh no the task system that's reading that task for a task and then we're going to create the service here we're going to create the service itself. Then this is going to be public. And it's going to use that implement the interface. Okay. <clears throat> and then we're going to create a constructor here. So this will return something. Return something uh, return world or return okay um, we're going to say hello world here <coughs> but then we don't uh, we have to do um, we need to create a, like something like a configuration for a service so we want to put here private string uh, something like that here the string we have a constructor here for the string and then the string here is going to be the string here this one and then instead of hello world we're going to put hello with the value of the string okay and in our startup we want to register that sir um, interface uh, so it's going to be a transient for now and then this is where we're going to configure our um, uh, transient <coughs> um, sorry so we need to configure our service here so like that and then we're going to return a new DI service the service and then our constructor will be um, um, hello um, wolves 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 okay Okay. Yeah. So like that, we can use this as, as an option for option. Okay. So we can try. So when we use this DI service here in our test, so we're going to create a test here. Okay. So this one here will be the DI as service. Then. one here <clears throat> so
So we're going to get the service that it um, uh, this one get something. <coughs> so this one should return a hello hello wolves because it's the wolves that we put here. So let's try this. <coughs> Okay, so we it's running and let's try this one here. <coughs> API test. So it should return hello wolves. See? Because we configure the service to have a constructor that will take out wolves and then it's going to um, set it here in a string, the constructor, it will put in a string and then we say hello world. So <laughs> that's it. Uh, that's it. That is a dependency injection. Alright, thanks. Bye.